Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy trick on how to get more space out of your water slide paper while still using your Cricut design space. Here you can see only six of these images are able to fit onto a sheet, but let's fix that. Let's get 10 images on this sheet. So I'm just going to take my images, I'm going to scoot them off to the side for a second, we'll come back to those in a minute. And I'm going to come over here to my shapes, not my text, there we go, my shapes. <laughs> I'm going to pick a square, I'm going to set that to print, and then I'm going to unlock that box as well so I can make it any kind of shape I want. And up in the right hand corner, there will be a little yield sign that will pop up once it says my image is too big to print. So I'm just gonna keep sliding that until that little yield sign pops up over there. And as you see, it popped up. So I'm just going to scoot that back just a little bit until it goes away. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the length there. I'm gonna keep going down. Now you see the little yield sign popped up and then I'm just going to shrink it back down until it says that's okay. Okay, after I mess with that a little bit, I'm going to scoot that off to the side and I'm going to set that so it's set behind all my images. I'm gonna bring all my images on to this and I'm just going to arrange my images to the best of my ability. I'm gonna squeeze as many images as I can into this dark gray area. You don't wanna go outside of this dark gray area and I'll show you here at the end why you don't wanna do that. So I'm just going to continue to get these the best that I can in here. <laughs> And the great thing is once you have this template all set up for yourself, obviously you can save it and then you don't have to do this again, you know, if you continue to use this image. So it's, this is only a one-time thing that you have to do uh, when you're doing this. So that's nice. Now there are lots of other ways that you can uh, get the most space out of your water slides. Like you could use Word. Now Word, you have to deal with um, the sidebars and stuff like that. but. You could also use, we also use uh, a program called GIMP, which we use on our I, iMac. There we go, yes. <laughs> but I can show you guys how to do that as well. I just figured this was a lot easier to show everybody this way, that's something that you can use now instead of having to learn a brand new, whole different way of, of you know, a program to use. So I figured this was just the quickest way for now for you guys to be able to get all those images onto your water slide paper. I'm just going to continue to shimmy these around until they're all nice and filled in, making sure that they do not go outside of that gray box. And then I will show you what to do here in a second. Now I did try really hard to fit 11 on here. That's why I kept moving everything around. <laughs> but 10 was about as good as I was going to get for this. Now that my template is all done, I'm going to choose that gray box that we made in the background there. I'm going to delete it. I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm going to make sure everything's attached. And there's my template. My little yield sign did pop back up. So I just went back through and made sure everything was right inside that box and I ended up having to just shrink it just a little bit down but now it's ready to print and rather than six now we have ten that we can print on our paper. I hope you enjoyed that quick little tip for today. If you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tips, vlogs, tutorials I have coming your way and I will see you guys next time.